The NFC West now has a great collection of quarterbacks when you consider, assuming the Stafford deal becomes official on March 17, Kyler Murray, Russell Wilson. The guy that stands out right now, Chris, is Jimmy Garoppolo because we don't know that he's going to be there. And when you see that the 49ers got involved in the Matthew Stafford sweepstakes, it makes you wonder, are they going to try to get Deshaun Watson? There was a lot of buzz yesterday about the obvious possibility that they would try to trade for Kirk Cousins. Um, Where do you think this is going to go? Well, I I just, I feel like, you know, reading the tea leaves and everything, just the paying attention to the 49ers football team all year, like we do talking about it, everything like that. I, I mean, it seems like, they're looking to try to move on from Jimmy Garoppolo or see if they can get some sort of upgrade at the quarterback position. And I understand it. You know, I mean, two things like we talked about, Jimmy Garoppolo can't stay healthy. They have a really good team. It's a Super Bowl type of team. And, you know, if, if they, so they either got to get a quarterback who can play and be out there consistently or get a top tier backup type quarterback. But I think the other thing, like to your point, Mike, and like what you're talking about, you know, the the 49ers, Shanahan, he's in the NFC West, like you're talking about. He's seeing Russell Wilson and Kyler Murray, and he got to see a few other quarterbacks and Mahomes in the Super Bowl last year. You know, he's got to look at it and go, wait, uh, one of these guys who can make plays, it doesn't always have to be on me and the offense delivering all the time. Uh, And that's where I got to think they're looking for that upgrade. But the injury thing has got to be a real concern for that organization. 23 games missed by Jimmy Garoppolo in the past three seasons. Now, 2019, he didn't miss a game. But they went into that Bob Greasy mode with him in the postseason when Kyle Shanahan got freaked out by some balls that Garoppolo threw against the Vikings that could have been picked off. One was, two weren't. All three were in the direction of Eric Kendricks. And then you've got... Uh, this year, missing the, the the 10 games with the ankle injury, right. at, at some point, you've just got to consider your options. $2.8 million is the cap charge that would attach to trading or, or cutting Jimmy Garoppolo. There's some thought that maybe they could trade him right back to the Patriots. But then who do the 49ers end up with? And, Chris, we have a question from JBO, 799-2900. Got to get the numbers right. Please tell me if Cousins to the Niners smoke has fire when would this need to go down? The hashtag skull at the very end, you don't see that on the screen, but the hashtag skull at the end is a giveaway because there are plenty of Vikings fans that would love to see the Vikings offload Kirk Cousins. We'll talk about that angle in a minute. For now, though, Cousins to the 49ers. And some 49ers fans is like, what's the difference between him and Garoppolo? Well, one difference is Cousins doesn't get injured. And the other difference is he's known that offense since 2012. Now, he's, he's learned others since then, but he could go back to that mode that he was in when he was with Kyle Shanahan, relearn the offense, and run the offense the way he did in Washington. Definitely. Run it like he did in Washington, do all the things Jimmy Garoppolo does, and then some. Uh, Kirk Cousins is better than Jimmy Garoppolo as a quarterback. In my assessment, uh, I, I think there's a, a clear advantage to Cousins. You say what you want about Kirk Cousins. It's not special like you've always talked about. He's not going to make backyard, you know, scramble type plays and do that. But we know Jimmy Garoppolo is not that guy either. So Shanahan's comfortable with that type of player. But the one difference to me between Cousins and Garoppolo is just the pure throwing aspect. Cousins is a pure thrower. He is gifted that way. It might not be the strongest arm you've ever seen, but it's plenty strong, and the way they uncorked the ball down the field, hey, they had one of the more aggressive, deep passing uh, passing games in all of football this year. I mean, it wasn't dink and dunk. It was Justin Jefferson, 40 yards down the field. Adam Thielen, 30 yards over here. Hey, back to Justin Jefferson, 20 yards over the middle. They look for big throws in the pass game, and that, to me, is where it would be a huge upgrade because – you know, you mentioned it, the struggles in the playoffs last year, a very average Super Bowl performance by Jimmy Garoppolo to cap that off, and then not bringing anything physically elite or special to the field as a quarterback, and then you're injured a lot. I, I don't know how you could think that you would just get the red carpet rolled out for you and definitely get to come back and be the starting quarterback. Amazing to think that the 
quarterback of the Super Bowl representative for 2018 and 2019, both gone out of the NFC West in the same cycle. Jared Goff Crazy. dumped, and now Jimmy Garoppolo potentially dumped. Think about Kirk Cousins, and I'm ready to give him some praise. This is – he loves him, Faze. I love him Kirk today. Cousins, Kirk Cousins knows how to stay within his abilities. He knows the limits. Exactly. He's very self-aware of his abilities on the football field, and that's one of the ways you get injured, Chris. When you start trying to do things that you're not built to do, that's when you set yourself up to get hit in an awkward way – you're, you're, you're straining too hard. You're trying too hard. You're trying to will your body to do something it's just not wired to do. When Kirk Cousins knows the play's over, the play's over. You're never going right. to see Kirk Cousins drop a shoulder at the sideline and tear his ACL like Jimmy Garoppolo did. You're never right. going to see Kirk Cousins get caught in this mass of bodies and sprain his ankle. When it's going down, he's down. It's done. That's it. And that's one of the reasons why he's able to suit up and play every week. And that's one of the key components of being a franchise quarterback. If, if we if we broaden the definition, because I don't know how many there are, but you got to be available to play to be in the conversation. And Kirk Cousins always is. Now, the other side of it, I wrote about this yeah. last night. Because, I, you know, look, we, we, we've known that Kyle Shanahan's been interested in a Kirk Cousins reunion. That was three years ago, but maybe it could happen now. What well, was pre-Garoppolo, maybe it could happen now. I don't think the Vikings are going to want to let him go because if the Vikings let him go, what are they going to do? It's not like there's some guy out there that's going to be dramatically that's... better than Kirk Cousins. And if you move on from Cousins, that's how you move a step closer toward getting everybody fired. You keep Cousins, you may be good enough to keep everyone around for another year. You get rid of Cousins, what are you going to do, Mitchell Trubisky? No disrespect, I'm just I know. throwing out names. Like It's not like there's right. a ton of names out there where you look at it and say, well, that guy's better than Kirk Cousins, and you put him into a new team, a new offense, a new everything. He's not going to be as good as Kirk Cousins. Cousins isn't going to take you to the Super Bowl, but he's not going to get everybody fired either. And I think that's going to be a factor for the Vikings, and they're not going to want to give him away. I, I, I don't know what the Vikings would do at quarterback without Cousins for 2021. I agree. That's where I, I think that I, I don't know if I can get be, you know, behind it. I don't know if it makes sense for the Minnesota Vikings unless they're totally going, okay, fine, we're going to trade them you know, get some picks and, and really try to semi-rebuild here on the run again. But you're right. That doesn't, that doesn't seem that's the way. That's not going to be right for Mike Zimmer at this point of his career. So I have a hard time thinking that. And I don't think they're just going to be like, hey, you know, you give us Jimmy Garoppolo, we'll give you Kirk Cousins and a few picks. I don't know if they're going to be happy about that either. Because again, yeah, they might like Jimmy Garoppolo, but He's not healthy ever. So that's going to hurt his trade value or a team just saying, yeah, we want him. We want the guy who plays 60% of the time. That's a tough one. I think this whole 49ers quarterback situation, very fascinating. I really do. Um, I have zero inside knowledge of the situation, just to be clear on that. This is a sure team. Don't. I don't. I, this is where I, I don't hear from Kyle Shanahan at all. He doesn't want to tell me anything. What? So my big mouth can go on here and, and, and introduce it to the whole world. He, do, he wants nothing to do with me right now. So we it's been a little while since we talked, um, but I'm smart enough. And I follow his team to, to know that that's gotta be an issue. We see that they were in the trade market for a Matthew Stafford. We've heard the mum, you know, the murmurs and mumbles out there that are, you know, surrounding their quarterback situation. And they're a Super Bowl team, and they're not sure about their quarterback. And uh, I, that's going to be something to watch here, you know, for the next few weeks. And a point you made yesterday, the teams that were at the table for Matthew Stafford are the first ones we need to look at to be at the table for Deshaun Watson. But the price is a lot higher. So whereas a team like the 49ers may have been willing to put together a package for Matthew Stafford, are they really going to break the bank from a draft pick standpoint for the guy they could have had in 2017? Psychologically, that's got to be tough for the 49ers to do. Give up three first-round picks for the guy that we could have had and we didn't take him? Tough, tough, tough one to justify. So I don't know what the 49ers are going to do, but it sure feels like they're looking for alternatives to Jimmy Garoppolo. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.